Hey guys, it's me. Um, I don't even remember the last time I did a vlog, but I know it wasn't that long ago. But I figured I'd update a little. First of all, my hair sucks. Color's coming out. Hmm, permanent my ass. I don't care what they say. Oh, it's permanent. Yeah, the color should be permanent. It shouldn't wash out that fast. Because it washed out within like a week or so. So, yeah, my hair looks like shit. And I'm kind of getting tired of this over here. Like, really, really fucking bad. Uh, oh, sorry, I was just putting um, a, uh, a video of me singing on Facebook. Because that's about the only place I can think of to put anything. Now, I could try to put stuff on Twitter, but, um, yeah, like, everyone is on Twitter, especially the people who actually sing the songs. And I'd rather just not even bother to do them on YouTube anymore, which I've told all of my followers about, all 49 of them. Not that I care. It's not a big deal to me to have a million followers. I'm not going to ever be a YouTube personality, and I'm okay with that. I'm more about getting my money directly. You know, at the end of the week. I don't know if YouTube does that, but... And there's nothing wrong with being a YouTuber, because I know they work their asses off. They hardly do anything but make videos. At least the gamers that I know, because they're the only ones that I watch. Like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. They barely even get a wink of sleep because they're trying to put videos out. And two a day is crazy, especially when you do it every single day for the last, like, five years or more. So, but I just don't think the YouTube life is for me. So that's why I hardly do anything. I just want to make money my own way. Which, unfortunately, is working. And that's something that uh, I don't really like to do. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, I'm a person. I have a life. It needs to be lived somehow and with purpose. At least for me, it needs to have purpose. Because a lot of people out there, they live and they don't have a purpose for why they're even living. Um... On another note, I have not discovered a name for it yet, but I feel that I am at least one of the percentage that doesn't need to be with somebody because there are people that are like, oh, there's someone out there for everyone. Well, not exactly if you really think about it. Because, I mean, there's a lot of straight people. And there's there's lesbians. And there's gay people. And then you have people who are something beyond that or beyond bisexual. They have their own preferences. And then you have people who don't even love people at all. I, I once read a story about a woman who loves a tree. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I'm just saying. And there's people out there who love uh, living on some animals. So there isn't really someone out there for everyone, obviously. So I've just, I reserve myself. It's not like I'm giving up. If there's someone out there, there is. If there isn't, there isn't. I I really couldn't care less anymore. I, I feel like the way I am, someone would not be able to accept me anyway. Because I am... I'm not impulsive, but I'm emotional. And yes, I know what impulsive means. I mean, the only thing impulsive about me is the fact that I, I always feel this need to have something. I, I always want to buy something, even if I don't really need it, which doesn't really come all, all the time. I mean, basically, the things I feel I need are, like, food. The things I want are, like, 
books and movies, which I can wait for. Uh, simple things like that. But the one thing I do know that I need is like, let's see, I need new sheets. So I have to buy them. You know, something that's, it's stuff that everybody needs. But I feel that with my emotions and the way they are, they are, they are so out there. They are just to the extreme half the time. Like, I could be happy one minute, and the next I will be super pissed off about something. Like, extremely. And all, anybody who watches my videos will probably see that. They will probably see, like, I'm bitching about something because I'm seriously pissed off about something. And that's just me. And I feel like that whether it be a guy or a girl, you know, a man or a woman, they would not be able to handle me like that. They they wouldn't even know what to do because I am just, I want to say a little uncontrollable with my emotions. And that's that's really a bad thing. It really is. I need to learn to control my emotions more. And I don't know how to do that. And I don't want to do it with medication because I'm not that kind of person. I've been on medication since I was three years old. And the last time I was on an actual mental medication was for my ADHD. And I was 18 and I decided, look, I'm done. I've had enough. I, I've done all the medications they had out for years and years and years up to the very last time. They were just testing this medicine. Okay, they were just testing it and they gave it to me because my ADHD was that bad, which I would like to say it wasn't. I would also like to say that if you're watching this and you think your child has ADHD, here's what I'm going to say. And yes, I'm saying it on YouTube. You can go fuck yourself because your child does not have a goddamn problem. You do. You can't handle your child. And if you can't handle your child, you probably shouldn't have had one. Because there are plenty of kids out there who are very well behaved because of the way their parents are with them. And then you have the other parents who spoil their kids rotten just to stop them from crying. And that's where the problem begins. No, I do not have a kid, but I read a lot of things. A lot. So, if you think your kid has ADHD, maybe you should be put on medication instead of them because they're a kid and they don't have a problem. The only time you need to worry if your kid has ADHD is if they are past the age of at least 13 or 15. Then you need to worry. Though I would worry more about your child being on the internet at the age of 13 and desperately wanting a boyfriend. Because I just had a falling out with a friend who is in love with someone who's taken and she's like oh I'm in love with him I swear I am you don't know how I feel I was like girl yeah I do because I thought I was in love every week when I was 13 and I know you're freaking not because now at my age 13 years later I don't feel anything I don't feel love for anyone at all whatsoever so <sighs> going off on a rant that nobody wants to hear about. <laughs> okay, I got some other news. My best friend, who is like a sister to me, is pregnant. And I know she might watch this video sometime or another, and I already told her that I am a little disappointed, but I'm pretty sure the asshole sweet talked her into bed. Okay? Ladies. You need to get to know someone before you get into bed. Unless you're a whore. I don't care what the hell you do. But if you are an innocent person and you want to find true love, like I know some people believe in that stuff. You want to find, you know, that, that true love bullcrap. Don't get into bed. That's not the way to do it. And if he says, oh, if you love me, you'll have sex with me. That's not love. That's forcing. That's like that's like those anime pictures out there where the guy's forcibly raping the girl. That's rape. 
okay? That ain't love. That's some dude being like, saying anything he can to get in your panties. And you're letting him. So don't let him. Get to know a guy first. I don't care what you have to do. Because I went on Facebook and found the guy that knocked up my sister. He's got three kids. And then she tells me he's a psychopath. Like, seriously? You need... There's stuff everywhere. Facebook has everyone. Okay? Everyone. Uh, every single person. Everyone. You can go on and snoop at some guy's Facebook. Just casually. Casually. Even for guys. If you don't know a girl. Just casually. You know, be like, hey, what's your Facebook? Oh, no. Let's see some pictures of some, some. Or whatever. Get to, like, yeah. Get to know them and do it as quick as you can because they can literally, if they have a phone, if they have a phone, they will be changing that stuff up right quick. Like, real quick. So, ladies, guys, get to know someone before you get into bed. And I'm direct, directing this mostly towards ladies. I'm not trying to be sexist. I'm really not. But the girls can get pregnant, okay? Guys don't get pregnant. Most straight guys don't get pregnant. But girls can't. This is why lesbians are safe. They don't got to worry about that shit. All right, I'm going to end it on that because that was kind of funny. <laughs> I need to go. I look terrible. All right, I will try to vlog more often. I'm getting a new job soon, I hope, so I'll be able to do it when I can. So I am out of here. Bye-bye.